All right, now we're going to ask the Holy Spirit to perform spiritual surgeries, okay? Amen. The Holy Spirit knows our bodies very well, better than any physician on the planet, okay? Physicians know how to keep people, to cut them open. They know how to cut them open, okay? But God is the one that heals. Praise God. The Holy Spirit knows what's wrong in our bodies, and he goes right to the point. That's why we go through the Holy Spirit. Praise God. Hallelujah. So now, before we start, this is for our members. You can always become one towards the end of the broadcast. Go to brothercarlos.com and sign up for our Spiritual Warfare Strategic Network. Once you sign up for that, you will be included in this, and you, you will also be included in this, and you're going to be also included in this. You and your family. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. So now repeat after me. We want to make sure our hearts clean. Okay, in order for you to be healed by God, your heart has to be clean. I'm talking about your spiritual heart, not the one full of, you know, pork. Okay, I'm, talking, I'm not talking about your physical full of pork heart. Okay, no. Okay, I'm talking about your spiritual heart, your inner man, your spirit has to be clean. Amen. How do we clean it? By forgiving, loving our enemies. Let's, let's do it right now. Repeat after me. Say, Father in heaven, I forgive everyone that ever hurt me one way or another. Father, I forgive them. I love them. I bless them. And I pray for them. Now, Father in heaven, I ask you that you forgive me. Of all my sins and trespasses, as I have forgiven those who have trespassed against me. Say amen. This is how we keep our hearts cleaning, clean, okay, clean, okay. By doing what? By always forgiving. Don't send curses back to the sender. That's witchcraft, okay. We must forgive, okay. Forgive and forget. Okay, we must forgive, love, okay, bless, and pray for our enemies. That's how we keep our hearts clean. Now that our hearts is clean, okay, now you, you, get, you are now ready to be healed. Now you are ready to be cancer free. Amen. That's, that's the way it is. Okay, amen. If you want to be cancer free, okay, go to the Holy Spirit, okay. Don't go to hospital. Go to the Holy Spirit. That's how you become cancer free. All right? You go to hospital, they'll kill you faster with chemotherapy. Okay? Go to the Holy Spirit. Make sure your heart is clean. Make sure there's no bitterness, no resentment, no unforgiveness towards anyone. Okay? Then go to God. Then he will heal you of cancer or whatever it is. Arthritis, fibromyalgia, migraine headache. Body ache, back pain, knee pain, okay, constipation, right? Constipation is a serious problem caused by demons, okay? People who suffer from constipation, they are always, you know, holding unforgiveness towards others. That's the way it is. People dying of cancer, the same thing, okay? The same thing. They hold unforgiveness. That's why they have cancer. That's why their cancer is killing them. Plus, they might be also pork eaters. They might eat pork like nothing else. That is bad too. All right, let's now, you know, sit back and relax. Lie down on your bed. I want you to feel very comfortable right now. Amen? If, even if you fall asleep, that's fine. All right, let's just go ahead and come now before the Holy Spirit, okay? Holy Spirit, you are welcome in this place. Holy Spirit, you are welcome in this place. Omnipotent Father, 
of mercy and grace. You are welcome in this place. Hallelujah, Father, we welcome you. Oh, Father, we praise you. We lift your name on high. We declare that you are the King of kings and Lord of lords, creator of heaven and earth. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Come into our hearts right now. Come into our bodies right now. We thank you now for removing cancer cells. Oh, Holy Spirit, we thank you for removing cancer cells from our body. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for removing cancer cells from our bodies. <clears throat> Thank you for removing cancer cells from our loved ones, from our children and grandchildren and all descendants. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you for removing arthritis. Thank you for removing fibromyalgia. Thank you for removing migraine headache. Thank you for removing body ache. Thank you for removing obesity. Thank you for removing constipation. Oh yes, hallelujah, Holy Spirit. Hallelujah, Holy Spirit. We thank you for healing us. We thank you for setting us free. We thank you for removing scoliosis from us. We thank you for removing scoliosis from our loved ones, from our family members. We praise you for protecting us. We praise you for healing us. We magnify you, Holy Spirit. We thank you for healing us completely. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for removing evil spirits from our bodies. Thank you for removing maggots and tapeworms from our bodies that came in through pork meat. Yes, Holy Spirit, we praise you. Thank you for uh, 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 blessing us. Thank you for healing us. Thank you for uh, uh, repairing the parts in our bodies that is uh, 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 functioning badly. Thank you for replacing those that need to be replaced, such as our brain. Replace our brain with brand new brain made in heaven. Not made in China, but made in heaven. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you for healing us. Thank you for blessing us. And thank you for setting us free. Holy Spirit, you are welcome in this place. Holy Spirit, you are welcome in this place. Omnipotent Father of mercy and grace, you are welcome in this place. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. All right, friends, I'm going to keep this broadcast shorter than normal, okay? Amen. Always keep in mind, keep your spiritual heart clean. Always walk in forgiveness, okay? Walk in love, amen? Bless your enemies. Pray for those who persecute you, amen? How do you pray for them? Say, Father, bless them. That's a prayer. Father, bless those people who curse me. Bless them. That's it. That's a prayer right there. Pray for them. Amen. And God will heal you. And he will take care of you. And he will save you. Amen. 
Hallelujah. Come back tomorrow for more. Now, if you're not a member, sign up for our membership. That's how you become you know, a member here and benefit from all that we do here daily and also offline several times a day. Amen. We are putting the to run every day on behalf of our members. Praise God and on behalf of their family members. All right. Let's pray the final prayer right now. Father, I ask right now that you seal this deliverance and that you fill every empty spot vacated by unclean spirits with the presence of the Holy Spirit in all of us, also in our families. Adonai Yaer Adonai Panaveleha Vihuneka. Isa Adonai Panaveleha Veyasem Leha Shalom. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord makes his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance towards you and give you peace. God bless you now. Have a good day. Sign up if you are not a member. Okay, go to brothercarlos.com. Amen. Hallelujah. I'll see you next time. Bye now.